gum or some nasty meat, your brain gets so happy and so excited, you think that the uh, the spam or whatever the food is that had the MSG tastes really good. So food processors love adding these adding these kinds of things, uh, MSG and and uh, a food enhance a flavor enhancing chemicals to foods. So Dr. Blaylock says, well, you should stay away from glutamine because it gets turned into glutamate. But I'm not sure I buy into that. First of all. It's not entirely clear that brain cell excitotoxicity is going to occur just by taking glutamine. Glutamine gets converted, or glutamate actually gets converted into something called GABA, which is relaxing. It has a relaxing effect. So it turns out that there's a feedback mechanism. When, when you take glutamine, glutamine can get converted into glutamate. On the one hand, it'll go back to glutamine and cycle, cycle back and forth. And on the other hand, it can get turned into GABA, which has a relaxing effect on the brain. So I'm not sure that I buy into what Dr. Blaylock is talking about. Personally, I'd be supplementing with five, I do supplement with five grams or so a day, especially if you're dealing with some kind of stressor, especially digestive problems, or if you have cancer, or if you are post-surgery, post, uh, you just came out of surgery, any kind of stress, in my opinion, and we're all under stress. Dr. Blaylock even admits, he says if you're under a particular kind of stress, that's the one time to do glutamine. That's what Dr. Blaylock says. He says if you have some kind of digestive distress, you're, you're dealing with cancer, even he admits that you want to supplement with glutamine. Well, my take is we're all under stress. We're all under physiologic stress just from toxic water, toxic air, toxic food, radiation, emotional stress, mental stress, spiritual stress. So in my personal opinion, it's probably a wise idea to be supplementing with five grams of glutamine, if not every day, at least every other day, especially when you come home from the gym, as we've said before, especially if you're working out. There are also foods, not a lot, but there are foods that uh, will get you some glutamine. We'll talk about that when we come back uh, on our next Bright Side episode, and then we will move on to our next component, our next building block of the master antioxidant, master can- cancer fighter, Super detoxifying substance, glutathione, uh, probably or arguably the most important peptide in the body. Okay, 855-660-4261 is your bright side phone number. Edward in Kentucky, welcome to the bright side. What's up, buddy? Uh, yes, from Savannah, how are you, sir? I'm doing good. What's going on, Edward in Kentucky? Where are you in Kentucky, uh, by the way? Where do you live? Uh, I live in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And my, nice. my, name is in, my name is Henry, but that's okay. That, oh, okay. That doesn't matter. I got Henry uh, here. All right. Go ahead, Henry. What's up? All right. Uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, colostrum. I have okay. an autoimmune disease, and I wanted to, and I've been researching colostrum a lot. Good stuff. I wanted to get your take on it. Yeah, it's, it's awesome stuff. It's a type of milk. Uh, you probably know this, but it's a type of milk uh, produced in the last, uh, last stages of pregnancy as well as the first few days after, uh, after giving birth. Uh, it's a this gooey kind of substance. It's thick because it's loaded with nutrients. It's loaded with antibodies. They don't, there's not a lot of colostrum. You don't get a lot of colostrum out. Uh, but you, it is, man, that stuff is amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. It's great for the immune system. It's loaded with immune, uh, immune factors and antibodies. But an autoimmune disease is really not something that you necessarily want to treat by using something as much as you want to uh, stay away from stuff that, that activates the immune system. First of all, uh, if you're using bovine colostrum, there's a possibility that your immune system may react to that. So you've got to be careful there. I'm not saying colostrum is not good stuff. It really is good stuff. But I don't, like, I, I don't necessarily think that it's a good idea to treat an autoimmune disease using uh, nutritional supplements, using things. As, uh, th- that's important. Let me rephrase that. That all is important. But the most important strategy for autoimmunity is staying away from things that activate the immune system and of course that always means foods looking at uh looking for food so if you're eating something that your body's reacting to uh, you say you're eating bread or 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 eggs or whatever uh, uh rice or potatoes and you're getting some kind of reaction tomatoes spinach and then you try to do colostrum to take care of the autoimmune disease but you're bombarding your body you're saturating your body with things that activate the immune system that's sort of counterproductive and and that's why i have a problem with people trying to use things like colostrum or vitamin c or magnesium to treat an autoimmune disease without taking care of the original problem, which is an activated, um, a hyperactive that, immune system. Does that make sense? Uh, First of all, Henry, does that make sense how I explain that? Yeah, that, that makes total sense. And okay. Actually, I've, been a, I've been a long-time listener, so I'm, I'm on the Mighty 90 and the whey protein. And Good I'm deal. Old, Are you noticing you're getting better? Are you noticing uh, you're getting better? Yes, I, 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 I have noticed it improving. And what, I, and what I wanted to do was maybe add the colostrum on to yes. the Mighty 90 and the whey protein. 
If you can, re- if you don't react to the colostrum, I would do it. But again, focus on the di- on building the digestive system. Colostrum will help a little bit with that, with strengthening the digestive system. But I'd be using also as well. If you're not on the Biolumin Nightly Essence, I'd be using that. And then I'd also be focusing, as I say, on food allergens, food toxins, and avoiding certain specific foods that you react to. Okay. Does that help, Henry? That sounds fine. Thanks a lot. All right, my man. Thanks so much. Have a beautiful day in Louisville, Kentucky. And let's go out to Iowa and say hello to Clint. Welcome to the Bright Side. Clint, what's going on? Good morning, sir. Good morning. I, uh, in reference to uh, the MSG talk that you were talking about earlier yeah. before, yeah. MSG, um, it does naturally occur yes, absolutely. In, in nature just a little bit. Now, I understand that what it was there for and, and its purpose and stuff, but I'm not a big fan of it, but I mean, I'm just... I'm just making that comment. That's a very important point. You know, a lot of times we don't recognize the things that we consider to be toxic are actually naturally occurring, and MSG is indeed naturally occurring. The problem is, is when they bombard the body, uh, bombard, you bombard the body with it because you're taking super high amounts in foods. But yes, you're absolutely correct. Glutamates, monosodium glutamate, sodium glutamate, whatever you want to call it, is, uh, is definitely a naturally occurring substance. It's not yeah, essential or anything, but it's naturally occurring. Overloading your body with too much of any one thing. Absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. Okay, my comments, what I was calling about was uh, the the BTT 2.0. Yes, sir. Um, Say you're sipping on it now, and I sip on it. uh, What I use is about, uh, I'd say about, I hear the music. I'm sorry, Clint. I hate to do that to you. All right, hang tight. And then uh, if you're on hold, hang tight, too, because we'll try to get to everybody today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 855 660-4261 660-4261 is our number. We will be back right after this. Don't go away. For health and vitality for you, your family, and friends, get the Healthy Start Pack from Longevity, as recommended by registered pharmacist Ben Fuchs. If you're a junk food junkie, getting on the Healthy Start Pack is one of the best ways to wean yourself off of processed snack foods and start putting good nutrition in your body. If you have a loved one who's dealing with heart disease or any health challenge, the Healthy Start Pack makes a great gift. If you have a grandparent or a parent in a nursing home, you will be amazed at the difference a once-a-day dose of the Healthy Start Pack will make in your loved one's energy levels, in their memory, in their mood, and in their general outlook on life. Give the gift of optimal health to your loved ones and order the Healthy Start Pack from Longevity by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 or on the web at brightsidebed.com. That's brightsidebed.com. Order today. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Would you like being an insider? Would you like getting exclusive access to prizes and better deals? Would you like some help in making sure you and your loved ones are prepared for the next disaster or emergency? If you answered yes to any of these, here's your simple solution. Join Freeze Dry Guys Survival Insider Club. Not only is your membership free, you get $10 in survival bucks just for signing up. Then you save at least 10% on purchases, plus enjoy insider access to specials, prizes, and other exclusive offers. Since 1970, veteran-owned Freeze-Dry Guy has been your trusted source for long-lasting, easy-to-make freeze-dried food and dehydrated food, perfect for emergency preparedness, RV travel, and outdoor needs from camping to sailing. Enjoy life as a survival insider. Call Freeze-Dry Guy now at 866-404-3663. 
866-404-FOOD or log on to freezedryguy.com. That's freezedryguy.com. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's tax. TaxHelpOnline.com. We are America's largest independently owned communications network, GCN. On the bright side, talking to Clint in Iowa. What's up, my man? Got well, got... Uh, back to the tangy tangerine product. Yes, sir. Um, I've been, how should I say this? I've never heard anybody talk about this aspect of it yet. I'm yeah. curious as to the color of my urine. Okay, no problem. That's a great question, actually. Uh, uh, you ever hear the word riboflavin? Yes. Riboflavin, which is vitamin B2, means yellow body. And riboflavin actually will make your urine yellow or kind of orangish yellow. Now, there's also a little bit of uh, 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 fruit powder in the uh, in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, mm-hmm. uh, so, so it gives a kind of like an, a little bit that adds to the orange reddish color. So between the riboflavin and the fruit powder, uh, fruit and vegetable powder, that's what you're looking at. And well, I started out on the, just the Tangy Tangerine. Now I'm using the 2.0, and it did change color that way. But my concern was is I was I was concerned that I was not, my body wasn't utilizing. Oh, absolutely it, it is. To. 100% it is, because in order for it to get into your urine, it's got to somehow get into your blood. Okay. So it's going through the blood, and, and you know, what, it's really what's in the cells that counts. It's not what's in the blood that counts, and there's no way to know that. So you have to just kind of assume, and, or, or you have to go by how you feel. That's always the bottom line, because you never know what's getting in a cell. Whenever they do tests on the, on the blood to see what's in your system, you can't really – there's certain tests they can do. They can do something called an RBC, red blood cell test. But for the most part, when you're getting your, your nutrient levels checked, most people are checking the blood, and that doesn't really mean anything. And, and also with hormones, they'll check the blood. It doesn't really mean anything. They assume that if there's some in the blood or there's a certain amount of the blood that it's getting in the cells, but that doesn't always mean that it's getting in the cells. So you can't really go by – there's no real way to know is what I'm saying, what's getting into your cells except for how you feel. And that's the bottom line. Do you feel better? Does your blood pressure – is your blood pressure lower? Do you have more energy? Do you have better sleep, better sex, better bowel movements? Uh, um, are you uh, – are, do you have more ener- – uh, just feeling better, better mental clarity, et cetera? Is that – are you noticing that? Oh, yes. Then that's what that's what counts, my friend. Um, like in the last two weeks, I've noticed I've been on it for about forty days now. And what are you noticing? And within the last two weeks, my sleep has improved. Awesome. That's you know, that's one of the common that's one of the common things that happens. Okay. Uh, also, in in addition to this conversation, my part of my discussion wanted to be uh, omega six versus omega three. What led me okay. to go to this was listening to you about statins and you know how poisonous they are. They're awful. They're I did my research awful. on some of the statins. And I found out what it actually is derived from and what it's made from. And what it's made from actually kills 100% of everything that it comes in contact with. So how can that be good for anybody? Statin drugs do the same thing. In fact, all prescription drugs will, are what we, in chemistry we say cytotoxic. They kill cells. And that's why you can only take very tiny amounts, you know, milligram amounts. If you saw the actual amount of active material in a 10-milligram,
milligram or 100 milligram or 50 milligram tablet or capsule, you'd be shocked at how small it is. If you take even three or four or five times of that amount, you would kill, you would kill cells and you'd probably be very, very toxic and very, very sick. Drugs are toxins. They're poisons. I'm, I, I'm not being hyperbolic. I'm not being rhetorical. I'm not being poetic. They're literally poisons. And this notion of using poisons to heal is so asinine. It is so stupid. Yep. It is so ignorant that for a doctor, a medical professional to participate in this ridiculous therapy, uh,